to Godly Play. I'm so glad that you have joined me today. You will notice that we aren't in the Godly Play room at Decatur Presbyterian Church, but we're at my house. And we will gather here together over the next several weeks while we try and keep our distance while everyone gets better. So before we hear our story today, we must get ready. So let's take our three deep breaths in and out together. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. I think we're ready. Look, this box is gold. Gold is very precious are precious too. I wonder if there could be a parable inside. This box has a lid, keeps it closed, and parables are closed sometimes. I wonder if there could be a parable inside. Don't be discouraged if you can't get into a parable the first time. You can always come back again and again. This box looks like a present. And parables are presents. Parables were presents to you even before you were born. They are even a gift to you if you don't know what a parable is. I wonder if there could be a parable inside. I know. Let's take a look. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. It's green. It's a lot of green. There is green everywhere. I wonder if it could be one of those things that frogs sit on? Or maybe it's a treetop. I wonder if it is a leaf from a giant tree. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what this could be. I wonder if it's one of those things that you look through and can see the other side. Or maybe it's one of those things that you can look into and see your own face. very dark. I don't see any light shining through these. I wonder what could be so dark and so deep that no light could shine through. It's almost like holding a shadow in your hand. I wonder what this could be. Maybe a stick? Hmm. Could be a path. Hmm. There's another one. I wonder if that's an equal sign. Or maybe a path between two places? Maybe a bridge? Hmm. There's another one. A goal post. Hmm. Maybe a cup? Or a door? Here's another. Now we have an inside and an outside. I think 
we should make a gate so that if you're on the outside, you can come in. And if you're on the inside, you can go out. There are a lot of these. I wonder what we're building. It seems to be getting stronger and stronger. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. I wonder if animals or people live in here. I wonder who could live inside. Ah, sheep. Sheep live here. I wonder how many sheep live here. There's more. There once was a man who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people followed him. And they wanted to ask him a lot of questions and wanted to know who he was. And so one day they asked. He said, I am the good shepherd. I know each of my sheep by name and they follow me. I go first and show them the way. I lead them through the good green grass. And I lead them beside the cool, clear, still waters. And when we come to dangerous places, I show them the way through.
each of my sheep as we return to the sheepfold. If even one of my sheep is missing, I search for it. I go through the good green grass, beside the cool, clear waters. I even go back through the dangerous places. I will not stop until I find it. When I find my lost sheep, I pick it up, put it over my shoulders, no matter how heavy it is, and I carry it back to the sheepfold where it is safe. I am so happy that all of my sheep are back, that I want to celebrate. So I call all of my friends together for a big celebration. This is an ordinary shepherd. And he does not show the sheep the way. So they wander. When the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd stands between the wolf and the sheep. The good shepherd would give his life for his sheep. He leads them back safely to the sheepfold. I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if they're happy in this place. I wonder if you have ever been lost. Wonder if you have ever been found. I wonder if the Good Shepherd has ever called you by name. I wonder what this whole place could really be. Thank you for being with me today. Please share your wonderings with us on the Decatur Presbyterian Church Facebook page or send me an email.
The staff at DPC continues to think about you and pray for you daily. We love you, God loves you, and God is with us until we meet again.